I work a regular job. I'm a mom. I'm a really good wife. And uh, lots of other things, right? So I fail a lot with produce. <laughs> I'll buy all this beautiful produce and I'll think, oh, I'm gonna make this and I'm gonna make that. And before you know it, it starts to rot on my countertop. So what I've started doing is putting the produce in my fridge and like the back of my fridge where it's cold. And on the weekends when I can get to it, I create, uh, I guess what I call a fruit pudding. So this is conducive to a hypoallergenic cleanse. And it's, uh, it looks scary at first, so some of the pictures that I took before I cut the fruit up, most people would throw it away. But I don't, and I just kind of clean around it, and you end up with about two cups of different types of fruit. So today I have a couple of apricots, peaches, raspberries, and a bunch of strawberries. And so this will kind of be our base to make the fruit pudding. Alright, fruit is all chopped up. I ended up with about two and a half cups this time. And I really love the Sacred Olive uh, Pineapple Vinegar. It, it's really sweet. It's, I don't know, to me it tastes like it's got like a ton of sugar in it and I know it doesn't. So start out with uh, maybe two or three tablespoons of the pineapple vinegar in a pan. And then add your fruit. And this fruit will cook for quite a while. Um, I tell you what, I'll time it for you guys since uh, this isn't helpful, like when you're cooking and stuff. <laughs> I want to say it's about 20 minutes, but really a lot of the recipes is kind of getting an idea for the feel of the texture of what you're looking for. I mean, it's almost like making a jam where the, the fruit gets reduced and all of the sugars create that really nice syrupy finish. And that's where the vinegar helps out too. It kind of makes this syrup. And then right before we get it ready to chill, I'll create a slurry of rice flour. And that's how you kind of create this pudding type consistency. But it's a great way to use fruit that you normally would have thrown out anyway. So, uh, and it's a nice sugar fix, right? Like when you really want something sweet, but on a cleanse, it's harder to eat sweet stuff because you're really supposed to be limiting your processed sugar. So, I really love this dessert. So, this fruit cooked for almost 30 minutes. Part of it was I'm doing like four other things while I'm cooking this, so I put it down below, but here's what you're looking for. It's really, really syrupy. It hardly resembles the cut fruit that it was. As I was cooking it, I would go and kind of chop it up to decrease the different textures of the various fruits. So what's neat about this is that the, I really like the peaches, so always try to use a peach or a mango or some sort of really sweet fibrous fruit, what that does is that really makes it sweet and then you've got the tartness from either strawberries or raspberries. It's usually the combination I like. So now once you've got it, you want to go ahead and create a slurry. A slurry is just a couple ounces of water and a couple tablespoons of rice flour. Use a little whisk, kind of get it all combined. And then while the fruit is boiling, you pull, go ahead and pour it in to the fruit and stir. And this is basically a, the base of gravies, puddings, sauces, any of that stuff. And then keep cooking it until it's combined. And what you're looking for is a nice pudding-like consistency. So you want it to be thick, but not too thick. If it's too thick, add a little more water. If it's too thin, start over and make another um, little batch of a little bit of water and a tablespoon of flour. And I hate to be so ambiguous about it, but Really, this, a pudding or any type of sauces, it kind of comes through time and trial and error, and I can't tell you how many sauces I've ruined. I don't even know. Probably like 50% success rate. I think even still, sometimes I'm not paying attention and I put too much liquid in and I have to start over. And that's, I don't know, it's kind of the fun of failure is you learn your own technique and your own parameters of what a sauce is for you. I think I only added a couple more ounces of water to kind of get the consistency I wanted on this batch, which is good. So here's kind of what you're looking for. It's got to have a good thickness, right? So when it doesn't fall off easily, you want it pretty solid. And that way when you put it in, I use these little glass jars that I like a lot and then I've got little plastic lids. But just divvy it out in here and uh, let it cool off. Uh, we'll set in about two or three hours and it has that nice chilled consistency and then you have like a fruit pudding and what I do is I I'll take one of these containers and I'll eat like half one night I mean you're just trying to get the sugar craving satiated when you're on a cleanse I 
I found like, you know, you really don't want to sit there and eat like all three of these. It kind of defeats the purpose of, it's still sugar, right? It's, it's fruit sugar, but it's still sugar. So your body is learning to deal with less sweetness. Um, but I really think this is a great way to, to use up what you have. I love trying to be resourceful as possible with the food that I have. I try not to waste food. I can blame my, my depression uh, grandmother through that. She raised me and it was like nothing got wasted. And then also uh, it gives us a way to still be healthy and have our sweet fix. So I hope this helps you guys and uh, enjoy your fruit pudding. Mm -hmm.